after four years of development and testing blender 2.8 candidate version is now available to the public and anyone can go over to the website and download this hi guys and welcome back to ask nk today we'll be taking a look at blender 2.8 the candidate version that has been released what and what you need to know about this tool where you can download this and a couple of things that you can you know get to try out with this tool the minute you get your hands into it and so about four years ago there was this thought about let's go ahead and make something new and everybody actually thought that since it's open source you know the guys working at blender at that point might not really have as much resources and blender by this time was already something that people took for granted not for the fact that these two wasn't good enough but for the fact that first of all the ui wasn't the best and a couple of people didn't just really find it funny to just learn a tool that is open source and that is not industry standard but today the narrative is changing and everybody is thinking differently blender 2.8 has proven that open source tools can be used for industry style projects and this is not just about the functionalities or the tools that have been incorporated into blender 2.8 but the fact that this tool seems to be running very easy fast and I guess to say very seamless compared to some other industry standard tools has actually made Blender shine. The fact that this is open source simply means that it's free so anyone can get their hands on it. And as at 10th of July 2019, there was a tweet that was available from the official handle of Blender which kindly says that the Blender 2.8 release candidate is going to be out by tomorrow which is going to be the 11th and the official stable release date will be announced in a couple of days in the meantime enjoy the wonderful splash screen which is actually called from the very open you know movie that was made recently known as spring and so as at 11th a couple of people got downloading this stuff and there was a lot of traffic and i guess a lot of guys also had some kind of issues downloading this but on the 12th which is actually the current time we're recording this is free fast and it downloads really really cool and so directly here you're going to notice that there is this wonderful splash screen that we have and just before we get right into this let's talk about the new features that have been added into this and how you can get your hands onto this tool so if you go over to the website which is blender.org you will be able to just simply see blender for what it is and directly here you would be able to see this button which says blender 2.8 beta now the beta doesn't mean that it's the beta remember we first got the alpha as at this time last year then the beta came up and now this is the release candidate hopefully fingers crossed let's just believe that nothing is going to change there will be no serious bug that will hamper the development of this tool then yes of course we'll be able to simply move from the candidate version that we have here directly into the full feature tool that is going to be available for everyone and so once you click over here it's going to bring you over to this page and here it says the fun is back and you can literally tell that the fun is back now i'm not talking about the ui alone and i'm not also just talking about ev but there's a whole lot of things that has been made into or things that has been incorporated into blender 2.8 that never existed in blender 2.7 now most of these things are things that we could only but pray to see in blender and there's also a couple of things that i've also seen that other artists have been testing and i really really wish that they do make it to blender 2.8 or probably 2.8.1 and so from the top here you can see blender 2.8 is almost ready the stable release will be available in a couple of days or in coming days and so first things you notice is the ui you can definitely tell that the new ui is far more better now one of the things that i really really like about this one is this that instead of having the entire layer thing that we had here before you will be able to have this and a lot of people are not talking about this thing here but i'm going to go ahead and you know show you guys so if you come through previously once you open up blender you should be able or you would be able to actually find something that has to do with you know shortcut keys so you can actually change the mapping how you want it to be 
but I think this thing is going out now because they're not adding that there but then if you want to get this you can definitely come over to this section which is called edit and preference and you will be able to switch this from blender blender classic which is about 2.7 and and down or you can set this to industry so when you set it to industry I guess it's gonna you know make use of the entire Maya alt key rotational kind of thing and so that is one thing which I noticed that is not available with this release now the next thing which you would notice is directly from here you can see the UI you know makes a lot of sense It's really really quick now for you to actually work with this tool and you can also tell and you can also tell that from here you have all of these workspaces something that I have always really wanted to have you know in blender and and now that this exists and it's making it to the final stuff this makes a lot of sense other things that you can find out is it says an entire or a whole new workspace yes the workspace is cool for sculpting for modeling like we've just checked out and animation and also grading i think a lot of people have actually forgotten the fact that in blender you can do the entire color grading thing and you can go ahead and edit your entire shot directly from there and one thing that actually amazes me here is once you switch this all right once you switch the workspace you can notice that the two bars on the side dramatically changes there's also something that i've come to find out once you get into work with this tool so here directly from here you notice I don't know if it's just me but the gizmo is a bit more fluid or it's a bit more fluid it makes a lot of sense now and you might have noticed that once you start rotating things you also notice that this automatically disappears I don't know if this is a bug or if it is intentional but I kind of like it and I want you guys to keep it that way the head-up display is also something I really really like like from here you can see that we have this head-up display that says one collection and just a single cube so if you go through and let's say I over to mesh and throw in a simple circle from here and just simply move this you can see that it says collection one and circle moving on to these other stuff you can also see that there have been some improvements to how you can shade so you can now overlay some sort of things directly onto your model it says overlay also works on top of EV and circle preview renders so you can now overlay this using random colors using wireframes and also when you're doing your looks and development it makes a lot of sense to actually have something like this there there's also some other stuff that they've improved on it says here that besides gizmo for tools various elements like lights camera and the compositing backdrop image now have handles to adjust their shape and other attributes so if you want to check this out how you can find this is if you go over to your tool directly here so i have this box that we have here if i go over to this section called modeling and i switch this and let's say we just simply select something like this and choose to do a simple extrude you can see we have this plus sign here and you can now drag this up if you want to spin this for some reason you can simply just click on spin and you can see that we have this particular kind of uh gizmo thingy that we can use to actually move things around which is going to make uh, new users get very familiar or you know learn to work with blender really really easy now let's simply move on to the other stuff that have been made available in blender now we've seen ev in action in a whole lot of places and we're going to test that out next thing which we need to see is to the animation so before now there have been a lot of talk about grease pencil and grease pencil has evolved into something that is incredibly incredibly nice i've seen a couple of models that have been made out of this a lot of you know concept art a lot of storyboard animations and annotations that have been made out of this and i really think this is one of those things that is going to change the way blender is being used despite the fact that you can use it for 2d animation you can still just go in there as a concept artist and just really you know doodle a couple of things and get cool stuff working really fine and not long ago we saw a couple of updates that has been made for circles and also for eevee and now you can simply go into blender and shape things like hair volume sub surfaces making use of random work something that has been used a whole lot of times in the industry and you can still optimize this for things like reflection refraction and all those other stuff and this is not just improved for open cl but it also has a CUDA support which simply means that you can take advantage of both the gpu and the cpu at any point in time that you 
you're working directly in blender the principle here is here and you can you know go ahead and try these things out and get realistic renders from the hair that you're making the crypto map is here as well you can you know go ahead and try these things out and it doesn't just end there there's also a bevel shader there is an ambient occlusion shader there is also a, a disc area light there is a vector displacement and there is a whole lot of other things if you go over to the release note and check these things out you'll be able to see some of the highlights of things that has been made available and this doesn't just end here there's multi-object editing that is now available there's text improvement that is also available there's the gltf i actually think they worked on the fbx i've not tried that one out yet but the alembic and the collada file we worked perfectly fine so in case you want to move things from let's say you want to move things from uh blender to goddard or let's say you want to move things from blender to unreal or you want to simply transfer things from one uh application directly to blender this support is here for you to actually make a uh, very good use of them the rigify is also here there's a new tablet preference which simply means that if you're working with a tablet display or you're working with a pen tablet it's going to be very easy for you to just simply set up your drivers and get going with these things and if you want to try this blender yourself you can go over to this page i'm going to put links in the description and you can come through and simply download blender so i'm gonna to have to download a couple of scenes which we're going to try out now so the first one which i'm going to try out is the race space so i'm just going to go over and simply hit open and say discard changes and there you have it so with this here next thing which i'm going to do is just jump over to the rendering and let's just see what we have here and this is Eevee and you can see how cool this is okay so with this you can see how cool this is now this is running as clean as it can be and I just don't know why you wouldn't want to start making use of blender at this point this tool is free and you can see in real time that we have EV running very clean and very very seamless now I'm going to try out something else let's go ahead and you know grab up the next one which is called Mr. Elephant and if you're wondering what my rig is this is a very very simple 6 gig 1060 GTX which simply means that anyone can you know get blender and get way better rendering or you know something similar to this and if you want to get this test scenes you can go to the website here link is still going to be in the description and you can download these tools and you can test them out for yourself if you come through and check these things out you will be able to find the features that are available in blender 2.8 the candidate version and you can take advantage of these things and start creating if you want to check out some more videos that we've done about blender link is going to be in the description so you can find them out and if you want to get free models that you can try with this there's also going to be a link in the description where you can find free amazing models and textures that you can use and play directly here in blender and if you like this video or if you love blender and you want to try this out go ahead and hit the like button and and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace